Designing a motor isn't just about making sure it's running correctly. Today, safety, security, and efficiency play a big role in motor control innovation. And that doesn't even scratch the surface of the control optimization and complex algorithms at the heart of these systems. So what can we do to make our motor control processes easier to design? We can start with the PSAW Control C3 from Infineon. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Perfecto Martinez from Infineon and I explore how Infineon's PSOC Control C3 is enabling developers to create highly efficient and secured motor control and power systems. We also investigate the benefits that Infineon's Modus Toolbox software and Motor Suite bring to motor control design, and how you can jumpstart your next design using Infineon's PSOC Control C3. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Infineon. Hi, Perfecto. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Amelia. It's good to talk with you. Excellent. All right. So first off, Perfecto, what are some challenges engineers face with motor control system design? So what we see out there is there's multiple challenges that engineers face today when it comes to motor control. First, there's the challenge of complex control algorithms implemented for a variety of control schemes, such as sensor or sensorless FOC, trapezoidal commutation or block commutation, Complex control schemes enable a system to command the needed speed or torque for dynamic load, so it's important to get those right. Then there's a need to optimize performance to enable real-time communication and AI at the edge with the sensors available inside the motor. And of course, market competition drives product differentiation, resulting in a reduced size and lower build material of the control electronics. While the components are small, these systems need to be able to drive large amounts of horsepower in some cases. So designers must ensure safety of workers with the reliability of equipment and minimal downtime. With the need to run machines 24 by 7, they must now be designed to high levels of efficiency to drive down energy usage, a mega trend in Finion aims to address with our technology. 24 by 7 operations means always connected systems, which leads to potential security risks. Cybersecurity becomes paramount in these cases. So now engineers that have typically been solving the problem of how to spin a motor efficiently and safely are trying to design cyber resilient, secure systems. This is where Infineon is stepping up with best in class security built into the micro. So that summarizes a lot of the key challenges that customers are facing today with their motor control systems. Excellent. Now, Perfecto, are there any new products from Infineon that could help in this system design? Yeah, of course. So Infineon is following two mega trends in the industrial space. So it's decarbonization as a method to reduce carbon footprint through greener, more efficient systems and digitalization as a method to implement digital systems for control, connectivity, data generation, and eventually AI at the edge. Microcontrollers are the brain of these digital systems for many industrial applications in the power conversion and motor control space. For example, solar inverter, server and telecom power supplies, EV chargers, light electric vehicles, home appliances, power tools, HVAC systems, and industrial drives for automation. The brain of the system needs to sense the analog world and then in turn act with connected systems. More and more, we're seeing manufacturers adopt the use of wideband gap power electronics to address decarbonization and digitalization trends. To support our customers facing these challenges, we have recently announced a new microcontroller product family that we're really excited about called the PSOC Control C3. The features and benefits of this new microcontroller will help designers engineer the next generation of industrial systems for both motor control and power conversion, lowering carbon footprint and increasing digitalization broadly. So Perfecto, talk to me more about the PSOC Control C3. Yeah, so the PSOC Control C3 will be available in three variants an entry line, a main line, and a performance line. We will get into some specifics shortly, but with this innovative and exciting family of microcontrollers, we will address a wide range of applications and system requirements for both motor control and power conversion. For most of these applications, our customers develop a family of end products with different specifications based on target use cases. 
Infineon aims to provide a compute platform upon which designers can create innovative products and product variants with scalable performance and value proposition in their end markets. In the case of motor control, you might have a range of products addressing different load ratings, efficiency ratings, output torque, or output speed. With PSOC Control C3, you'll be able to reuse hardware and software, enhancing the product using the features and tools we provide to offer more advanced solutions your end market needs. Samples and eval boards are available today to develop with for both the entry line and main line variants. So, Perfecto, give me some details about this new MCU for motor control. Yeah, there, there's lots of great uh, specifics and specs on this part. So looking at the mainline product, again, there's two products that have been launched, entry line and main line. We'll look at the main line. You'll notice first that it is equipped with a high performance, low power, 32-bit ARM Cortex M33 core with digital signal processor, floating point unit, and Cortex accelerator. The core has access to 16 kilobytes of low latency instruction cache, 64 kilobytes of SRAM with deep sleep retention, and up to 256 kilobytes of read while write flash. SRAM and flash is ECC protected, Memory is protected with both security attribute and memory protection units. The processing core shines when tasked with the complex math and control algorithms needed for three-phase motor control. The heart of the analog blocks is the high-performance programmable analog subsystem. It features a 12-bit, 12-mega sample per second SAR ADC with parallel idle sampling of up to 16 analog channels. It is also equipped with five fast-acting comparators with built-in 10-bit DAC and slope generator. Two comparators are also available in deep sleep mode. This analog subsystem is ideal for systems needing to monitor multiple current and voltage signals along with speed and temperature inputs. A flexible TCPWM module is offered providing 16 channels of 16-bit timers and an additional four channels of 32-bit timers. The 32-bit timers also support high-resolution control of less than 80 picoseconds. This makes it possible to design in wideband gap power electronics, creating some of the most efficient switching solutions in the market. A motion interface is provided that can operate as a quadrature decoder unit, hall sensor control unit, or multi-channel mode unit. A low latency trigger multiplexing unit flexibly connects all peripherals so that real-time control is possible for critical motor control applications. Up to six channels of serial communications are provided, configured as either UARTs, SPI, or I2C, with one available in deep sleep. And two channels of CAN-FD are available with transfer speeds up to eight megabits per second. To address security requirements, the PSOC Control C3 is platform security architecture level two certified and includes trust zone for device level root of trust with support for both symmetric and asymmetric cryptographic algorithms. For safe operation, safety libraries for class B and SIL2 are provided. ARM Cortex M cores are known for their power efficiency, and with PSOC Control C3, you will have six different power modes available, including multiple sleep and hibernate modes with integrated wake up interrupt from several external events. In deep sleep mode, the PSOC Control C3 pulls 10 microamps. In hibernate mode, the PSOC Control C3 pulls 1,000 nanoamps with real time clock and low power comparator operating. The PSOC Control C3 is offered in both QFP and QFM packages ranging from 48 to 80 pins and runs off of a voltage rail from 1.71 volts up to 3.3 volts in an environment ranging from negative 40 degrees C up to 105 degrees C. Now you know why we're really excited about the PSOC Control C3 for what it can do for both motor control and power conversion applications. Excellent, all right. So Perfecto, talk to me about the benefits that this PSOC Control C3 offers for motor control in particular. Yeah, so at the beginning, we talked about some of the key challenges designers face for motor control. The good news is that the PSOC Control C3 helps address all of these. The Cortex M33 fast analog and digital peripherals, floating point unit, and Cortex accelerator enable implementation of both simple and complex motor control applications capable of responding to real-time events with minimal delay and low utilization. This performance optimization helps create dual motor control and high frequency PFC systems or high RPM systems needing a dynamic range of control. The PSOC Control C3 makes your system wideband gap ready with fast, precise analog processing and high resolution PWMs to improve control loop accuracy and system efficiency. This unlocks the ability to shrink a design with the use of more efficient topologies driving down power consumption. With our platform security architecture level two certification and crypto acceleration, 
you can develop secure applications on a secure platform that protects your IP, even in an always connected world of the IoT. And with our safety test libraries, you can develop systems that are functionally safe. All in all, the PSOC Control C3 provides extreme value and functionality in areas that matter most for motor control systems. So Perfecto, what software support does Infineon offer here? Software and tool support, right? That's an important part of the design journey that Infineon hasn't overlooked. Our development tools bring to life the real-time control, system efficiency, and advanced security the PSOC Control C3 offers. Modus Toolbox is the unified tools environment within which you can access middleware, BSPs, code examples, documentation, and application development resources. Additionally, you can explore advanced security features such as root of trust, cryptographic libraries, IP protection, and secure firmware update. Finally, to support the motor control application, hardware development platforms are available that allow engineers to start evaluating the MCU with provided firmware. With the software and tools, we are driving ease of use with our products, reducing your time to market, and allowing you to see the benefits of our technology for your end product. Perfecto, motor control development is a tricky process, right? How does this Modus Toolbox Motor Suite help me here? Yeah, so the other tool that we've added and we've announced recently is Motor Suite for Modus Toolbox. And this really helps engineers get started quickly um, in their evaluation process. So Motor Suite for Modus Toolbox, it's a comprehensive software solution designed to simplify and accelerate the development of motor control systems. First, it supports a variety of Infineon motor control kits across a variety of microcontrollers. You can also select from multiple control schemes supported by the standard firmware loaded. Within minutes of getting the motor control kit up and running, you can start analyzing motor face currents using the built-in oscilloscope. With the included motor profiler, you can automatically capture motor parameters such as stator inductance and resistance, rotor flux linkage, inertia damping, and friction. These motor parameters can then be loaded for immediate use. No coding is needed to start your evaluation of PSOC Control C3 with the motor control kit using Motor Suite. As your journey advances, create custom dashboards with the included GUI builder for quick and easy debugging that lets you monitor the behavior of your motor control application with the PSOC Control C3. So Perfecto, what other advanced firmware does this solution include? Yeah, so our investment in motor control goes beyond a next generation microcontroller and development tool set. We've created advanced firmware for the PSOC Control C3 that enables development of efficient motor control solutions. First, we start with algorithms and multiple control schemes that are common in motor control applications. This includes sensor and centerless control for rotor frame-oriented and stator frame-oriented field-oriented control, as well as trapezoidal with block commutation. You can control a motor based on voltage, current, torque, or speed. These control scheme algorithms are included with our motor control kits and available for evaluation. These algorithms were written for both brushless DC and permanent magnet synchronous motors. You can leverage predefined motor parameters or use the motor profiler to determine the parameters of your motor. Finally, more advanced motor control solutions are available, including a flux observer for closed loop operation and high frequency injection for motor startup. These advanced solutions enable precise control, improved efficiency, and enhance reliability of motors in a variety of applications. Excellent. Now, Perfecto, what are the benefits of using Motor Suite for motor control design? So how I would summarize it is MotorSuite empowers developers to create innovative motor control solutions by providing a comprehensive integrated development environment with advanced algorithms for the PSOC Control C3. It does this by reducing development time and effort by providing a comprehensive set of tools, firmware, and examples. We help improve your motor performance and efficiency with advanced algorithms and optimization techniques. And with MotorSuite, you have complete control of tailoring the tool for your specific application requirement. Finally, the intuitive tools included simplify the development, testing, and real-time monitoring of your motor control system. All right, so how do I get started? Yeah, we're excited about what we've got to offer, and we definitely want engineers to start evaluating our technology. So if you would like to get started with PSOC Control C3, follow the links to the PSOC Control C3 Motor Control Kit, then download Motus Toolbox and Motus Suite to begin your development journey. We have tons of resources available to support you as well. There's a dedicated Modus Toolbox documentation site where you can view installation, quick start, and detailed user guides, along with technical training material. 
You also have access to code examples on Infineon's GitHub repository. And 24 by 7 support can be found through Infineon's developer community, where you can search through existing topics or submit your own request for support. So get started with your motor control uh, development, and please let us know if you have any need for support or any questions. We're here to help you 24 by 7. Excellent. Well, Perfecto, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you, Amelia, for having me on Chalk Talk. It was great talking with you. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Infineon. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal. <laughs>